This is 3D photography, so there are three cameras and they kind of uh, capture different points of the face and when you triangulate all the uh, six images that the cameras make, the three cameras make, uh, they form a 3D image which is what's behind me and so that's something, it's almost like a video that you can spin around and you can see your face in 3D and it actually looks very different to a 2D image so I think that's why people are so interested after they do the experiment to kind of come in and play with their face because it, it does look very different to a 2D image. It's a very important piece of research. Um, essentially, it forms the basis of a, a database, possibly the largest that's ever been formed of 3D faces, and the aim of which is to have a repository of information uh, so that we can uh, compare the patients that we see at Great Ormond Street to them so that we can bespokely refine the surgery that we're offering here. Well, we're trying to um, give children the best opportunity possible. And so this information will inform us not only when to, when to operate, but also how to operate. And when we do operate, how good we're actually doing at, at achieving success. Well, it's interesting when you take the texture off, so the skin colour and the hair, um, you really get to see facial morphology uncoloured. And so that's where a lot of the attendants to the stand have really managed to see resemblances within families. Well, the project started last week and it's running till the 10th of April and in that three month period we were hoping to get something around 10,000 people imaged but already they've done about a thousand so who knows. Um, it's running every day, um, the whole time the museum's open from 10 till 6 so there's plenty of opportunity to um, kind of invite visitors to get involved so hopefully we'll get many more thousands of people kind of taking part in the study. But the reactions I've seen uh, from kind of the computers where you can spin your face around and put these different masks on them have been really great. People have wanted to put them on YouTube, wanted to take them away. Um, they're really funny. You get families kind of comparing each other, seeing who looks like who. So it's really already in a week started some really interesting conversations, which is exactly what we wanted.
to that and I'll take it when we finish.